What's up guys, it's Alicia Ricky back at you for another video and yes, you read the title correctly. I kinda OD'd at Zara, no shame in my game. So I will be trying everything on that I got today so you guys can get an idea of how they fit. I'll also include sizing just in case any of you wanna add some of these items to your wardrobe. And as usual, I will link everything mentioned in this video including what I'm wearing down in the description box below. But if you're new here, I'd love it if you join my YouTube squad so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell button right next to it so that you're notified every single time I upload a video okay so let me start off by saying that it's not as bad as it sounds I did get a duplicate of a lot of items because I wasn't sure what size I was so a lot of these things are gonna go back to Zara if they don't fit of course so I'm not that bad guys I'm not that bad but anyways I have three boxes to go through so I'm just gonna jump right in this is the smallest one I'm starting with the smallest one and I really like that Zara does this. They change the paper, I think, every season, or is it just every box? I'm not sure, but I think it's cute. First thing that I see when I open the box is this white blazer or blazer dress. I just thought it would be a really nice summer piece to pair with like some PVC heels and a really minimal makeup look and just look really sleek and put together, but in a very spring summery type of way. So that's why I got that. I really hope this fits. Oh, and let me just say, if any of these things don't fit, you're not gonna see me trying it on because I'm not about to look crazy on here in front of all of you guys, not happening. So next up, we have this shirt dress and I really liked the print on this and I also liked the fact that it had this black and white striped trim on it. I thought that made it a little bit sporty but still pretty chic because of the other fabric and the print. I don't know if I'm gonna do this with like a belt or if I'm just gonna wear it out by itself but I really do like the sleeve details on this as well. It has a button here and it also has that striped piece woven material on the sleeve I thought that was really really cute and it also has this deep V so like I said very eerie nice for spring and summer and I just thought it was cute so next up are these pair of shorts and I really liked the fact that they were like a silky material but then had the velvet at the waist I thought it was a really good transitional piece from winter to spring and I really do like the color and the print these actually look a little bit I don't know pajama-ish and I don't know how that's gonna look on me so it'll be interesting to see but these are actually part of a set so the second piece that goes with that is actually this kimono it's like a pajama style kimono but it's kind of like mesh and it has this I don't even know what to call it. it's like velvet printed detail on top but it's very textured I'm not sure what the name of this material is but I thought it was interesting that they paired it together it being a set and having different materials but I really do like the velvet part here on this pocket it's also on the sleeves so again this will be interesting to see how these pair up together and I was thinking it will probably look cute with either a white t-shirt underneath or a white bodysuit so this is something that will look really cute for spring and summer and I just thought it was like a little no-brainer cute outfit for like a brunch date or something I thought this would be a really really cute look sorry to blind you guys again but I'm back with another white piece because you know spring trying to be all airy and stuff like that but this is just a nice white blouse from the Zara woman collection and I really like that it has the little waist piece so it really cinch you in at the waist and it has a very nice deep V so perfect for anybody that wants to show a little cleavage you know very simple white blouse and it's cuffed at the sleeves and I feel like it's just a really staple nice spring piece that you could dress up or dress down so you can rock it with jeans you can wear it with leggings you can put some shorts on or I feel like it's almost long enough if you're on the shorter side you could kind of get away with wearing it as a dress so I feel like it's very versatile and hopefully it looks cute. So next up is another v-neck piece and this one is a very very nice olive green color UK people will call it khaki but I really really love this and I really like the material it's kind of like a lightweight denim type of material like a cross between denim and cargo but the idea that I had for this was pairing it with some nude biker tights or shorts whatever you want to call them and my nude ego official boots that I just got I got some shoes from ego I unboxed them on my Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram you know what I'm talking about but I just thought it would look really nice and I don't know kind of a little easy vibe let me know if I'm bugging but I feel like it's giving me a little easy so here we go with another white piece and this one is more of a silky material and it's just a really nice blouse I like the fact that it had the little fold over detail here at the neckline and it goes all the way down 
to the front so I really thought this was cute and also really nice to kind of dress up a more casual look you guys know by now if you follow me on Instagram that I like to mix nice dressier pieces with more casual pieces so when I got this I had in mind pairing it with a pair of maybe black joggers and some cute heels you know to kind of edge up the look you're put together but you're still comfortable if you know what I mean so I'm excited to see how this comes together with the vision I have in my head because I think I'm really really gonna like it and the material feels really really nice actually has these four buttons on the sleeve so if you wanted to you could really really dress this blouse up but like I said my plan is to kind of dress it down because that's just my vibe okay so next I picked up a couple of basics from Zara because we all know Zara has really good basics so I got this knit Zara top and this is apparently a special edition one. It's a little bit see-through. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know if you guys can see but it looks a little see-through. Wasn't expecting that. I really wanted a plain black kind of I want to say sweater but a lightweight sweater I guess you could say for spring because I had to wear a lot of black and I was missing a long sleeve regular plain top just to dress up or down and that's why I picked this up but now I'm kind of like eh. Didn't know it was see-through. Wasn't trying to have see-through so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. This is also one that I got multiple of because child sometimes you don't want your basic to be too super baggy and if it's too tight it just looks I don't know it just kind of looks like you borrowed somebody else's clothes you know what I mean but yeah I don't know I don't know about this one guys because in spring I'm not trying to layer and the fact that it's see-through would mean that I would have to layer so mm, meh don't know what's gonna happen with this one next up we have a plain t-shirt again basics you can never have too many basics very simple to throw on very effortless to style so it's just a plain black t-shirt short sleeve the material feels good I'm not sure if it will last you super super duper long because if my memory serves me correct this was a $10 top but I mean you'd at least get to wear it for the rest of the year and then I also picked up a v-neck I think this was also $10 and again it's just a simple plain black v-neck t-shirt super easy to style very basic everybody needs v-necks and regular t-shirts in their wardrobe the material is pretty decent and I like this one because it has the high-low effect so the front is a little shorter than the back I thought that was just a little bit of interest to a basic top so that's why I got this plain v-neck so I've been trying to join this whole wide leg trend for a while and I just can't really seem to find a pair that one fit me right and two are long enough for me because I don't even think I'm that tall I'm only five seven and a half but yet still it's super hard for me to find like wide leg trousers or even regular trousers sometimes that go all the way down so let's hope that these work out first pair that I got are these black wide leg trousers pretty simple very ordinary but I just thought it would be again something super easy to style and just throw on a nice blouse and make it look dressy if that's the occasion throw it on with a t-shirt and kind of bring it down a little bit but still look put together so I'm hoping and praying that they're long enough and that they fit well they feel good so I feel like this works out I'll be in a good place and the last thing that I want to show you guys is this pair of red trousers so these are the same exact trousers but they're in red because if you watch my favorites video you already know I'm having a red moment so I had to go for the red trousers and I'm so praying that they look good on me because I have so many ideas for these trousers but yeah they're just simple basic red trousers you can dress them up dress them down this may be a little bit too extra for work depending on where you work but if you're in the fashion field then you know you can get away with wearing these red trousers these are kind of technically not just a spring piece but I feel like an all year round because red is a classic color it's lightweight enough and breathable but I guess in the fall you could get a little bit of warmth out of it or I mean at the end of the day if you wanted to wear it in the fall you could just throw some leggings underneath nobody would know I love this red it's like the perfect shade of like power red all right so that brings me to the end of this haul I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you like this format of try on haul because I'm still trying to figure out what's the best setup and everything to do so let me know in the comments if you did like the way that I did this video just because I have two more hauls coming for you guys and I want it to be exactly how you guys want to see it you know what I mean so definitely definitely leave me a comment down below if you made it to the end of this video and you're not yet a part of my YouTube squad Make sure you click my face over there and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, make sure you watch another video. Since you're here, you might as well catch up on what you've been missing. Watch another video. And as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video.